I really worked hard to build up my time mm -hmm. to a point where I felt really good about it. But then I still got things like, you know, the field needs work. And I'm thinking, well, I can play in time. I can play with a metronome. Yeah. What are they talking about? And it, it eventually dawned on me that having good time was actually not, not enough. Hmm. It was not enough. It was, not, it was important, but it didn't seem to be the whole deal, the whole equation. Mm -hmm. And the thing that was lacking for me was the feeling of it. So I was playing something, but interpreting it in a way that was very stiff, mechanical, because mm -hmm. I thought, well, it has to be tight to the click track. It has to be super solid. Yeah. Now, as an example, I will play you something that is in perfect time with a click. Yeah. And just give you an example of the difference between something that is, it, they're both going to be in time, but they're going to feel radically different. Okay, so that's in time. Mm -hmm. But does it make you want to get up and, you know, shake your thing and move your, you know, move your body? Yeah. No. So if I play that same groove, but I'm thinking about the way it feels more than keeping it in solid time, it has a whole different sound to it. Now what I did there is even though the tempos were identical, they're both at the same tempo, uh, the way I approached it was radically different in my conception. Mm -hmm. I thought, the first one I felt, I actually had to force myself to play really rigid and stiff and very metronomic. The second one is like, I want to relax yeah. and lay back.